Chandrayaan-3 is only 6 days away from reaching the moon orbit by performing translunar ejection which will slingshot the spacecraft towards the moon. TLI is planned between 12 am and 1 am on August 1. The midnight maneuver is expected to last between 28 to 31 minutes and it is done by firing the onboard thrusters of the spacecraft as it reaches the closest point to the earth known as PTG. The slingshot is attempted at PTG because Chandrayaan-3 is going around the earth in a elliptical orbit at a speed ranging from 1 km per second to 10.3 km per second. The speed is highest at the PTG which is the closest point to the earth and lowest at the apogee which is the farthest point from the earth. Since spacecraft need to have high velocity to attempt slingshot, it is done at PTG. And another reason is to travel towards the moon, spacecraft angle will have to change which can be easily done if the TLI is done at PTG. The predefined commands for translunar ejection will be enabled around 5 to 6 hours before the thrusters are expected to fire. Along with changing the angle, firing the thrusters also increases the velocity of Chandrayaan-3 by 0.5 km per second. On average, the spacecraft will take about 51 hours to travel 1,20,000 km, while the average distance between Earth and Moon is 3.8 km. The actual distance may vary from 3.6 to 4 km based on the position of Earth and Moon, and it will take about 6 days for Chandrayaan-3 to cover this distance. Reaching Moon's orbit is only a part of the mission. ISRO had already put the Chandrayaan-1 on 2008 and Chandrayaan-2 on 2009 on the lunar orbit. But the crucial part is landing of Chandrayaan-3 as it reaches the moon's surface. Once it reaches the moon's orbit, ISRO will have to carry some maneuvers to reduce the altitude of spacecraft and put it in a 100 km circular orbit. At this stage, the propulsion module is separated from the landing module, which is scheduled for August 17, after which the module will be landed on the moon.